Let's talk about how calcium initiates muscle contraction. How can an electrical signal initiate calcium release? To answer this question, let's take this muscle and blow up an individual muscle cell or fiber. The sarcolemma is the plasma membrane of the skeletal muscle. Inside the muscle cell, the sarcoplasmic reticulum stores high concentrations of calcium. The sarcolemma has frequent invaginations known as T-tubules that allow action potentials to be propagated toward the interior of the cell. Along the T-tubule, there are dihydropyridine receptors, also known as L-type calcium voltage-gated channels. Coupled to these channels, but embedded in the sarcoplasmic reticular membrane, are other calcium channels called ryanodyne receptor channels. The ryanodyne subtype RYR1 is located in the skeletal muscles. Action potentials traveling down the sarcolemma leads to the opening of these channels. Once opened, calcium floods into the cytosol of the cell. The calcium ions then diffuse through the cytoplasm toward the actin filaments, which are composed of G-actin monomers. Troponin proteins are attached to tropomyosin, which is a strand that covers the G-actin active sites, preventing cross-bridge formation and interaction of myosin and actin. Calcium binds to troponin, causing a conformational change in troponin, which then causes tropomyosin to move uncovering the G-actin active sites so that myosin can now attach to the actin to form a cross bridge and initiate muscle contraction. Thanks for watching.